Coach, the 9-6 loss in the series finale today. Kirkland took an early lead. You guys had a few comeback attempts to get it within one run, get it closer, but ultimately they were able to take control and get the win. So what are your thoughts on the game today? Yeah, I felt like kind of a repeat of yesterday, fall behind by a bunch of runs. Um, the good news is, is we kept fighting and we hung around long enough to, like you said, we actually got the winning run to the plate in the eighth inning from down a 9-3. So keep fighting, keep plugging away. Obviously not the results we want, but all we can really control is our attitude, our energy, our effort level. And uh, that was all there. You know, we just hope we can get out there, score first, be on top of teams. It's, I say it a lot. It's a lot easier to play from in front than behind. But... Um, we're, we're fighting hard. Now, one of the reasons you guys were able to stay close was back end of the bullpen. Oscar and Caleb had good outings. What did you see from them? I just didn't hurt hurt themselves. They attacked hitters. They Oscar did a really good job of uh, minimizing the damage in that one inning, put, getting a strikeout, and then putting a zero up. I mean, that's kind of the key, you know. I try and express to these guys, you never know what's going to happen in a game, whether the scoreboard's down six or up six, um, the longer you can put some zeros up, you never know if your offense could come back. And that's what they did on the back end, and they gave us every bit of a chance. So Oscar and Caleb are both really good today. Now, uh, Will hit his second home run in the series today, moved up to third in batting order. Just what, do you, what have you seen from his at-bats like this? He's been really able to show his power throughout the year. And when Will's going well, which he did all fall in our inner squads in practice, he's taking good pitches, he walks a lot, he gets hit by pitches, he um, has good plate discipline, he knows what he's trying to attack and what to lay off. Sometimes some borderline calls go against him early in at bats, but he does a really good job of being mature enough to fight through that. Um, he's been big for us, and we just kind of jumbled a lineup a couple of days in a row to kind of mix and match. We kind of wanted to go right, left, right today because we figured it'd be big bullpen day for them, a lot of different guys, which it was. Um, sometimes that comes back to bite you, but in that spot, I mean, he was crucial to get us back into the game and chip away into the lead. He's been really good for us. Now you mentioned chipping away. When you, what did you see in the dugout despite being down six runs but away through the inning, just be able to find your way back and just continue to play despite the score? Yeah, the dugout was positive today. Um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to stay up when you fall behind back-to-back -back days like that. But I think our guys have an internal belief that we can score and rally off a lot of different types of pitchers. So um, it, just, it just takes that energy on the mound to get a couple zeros where the belief can come back and then one little rally and you're back in it. And that's what I saw. The dugout was energetic today um, for a, as much as they could be what the score was doing. But they're there, you know, positive things were being said throughout the game, good support of their teammates. Um, we did as good as we could in there. Now looking ahead to the next week, playing at Berkeley on Tuesday before weekend series down at San Diego. What do those opponents bring and what are the things that you need to do to get back in the win column next week? There's no easy opponents out here. I've learned that really fast. And <laughs> Cal's not going to be um, easy by any stretch of the imagination. But it's a good game. It's a good uh, crosstown rivalry here. Um, I think our guys get up for playing uh, some of the schools in the area. So hopefully that's the case. Obviously, we got to sit down as a staff and figure out how we're going to attack Tuesday on the mound and see who's available and see how people are feeling at it tomorrow and then off to San Diego on the weekend. But truly just got to keep getting better every day. I know it sounds kind of cliche-ish, but we, we, we have a lot of work to do on our end. So if we can keep plugging away, getting better, I think the results will get better for us.